Origin by Jessica Corey A medium-sized sebia tree had fallen from its stand several yards outside the fence. It fell towards the rainforest, and I see where its roots were yanked out of the ground. The chain link was buried at least a foot into the earth, but where the roots have been pulled up, the fence has come with them. Beneath the mangled chain link is an opening about three feet wide and two feet tall. It is nearly invisible behind the bromelades that grow along the fence, but from my vantage point I can just see it. Hardly believing my own movements, I rise to my feet and get my flashlight from the top drawer of, my, of the dresser. I keep it there for times when a storm puts out the electricity until Clarence can get the generators running again. Come, Ali. What's gotten into you? I ask myself as I tiptoe down the hallway of the glass house. My room is the only one with actual glass walls, and hence the reason for calling it the glass house.